Oh. Hey guys, um, it's me, Emma, or as you know from my channel, um, Wolfie, well, Wolfgang202, and I am here today with my dog, Lucy, who is on the floor right now. I'm sure you'll see her eventually. I just wanted to let you guys know why, um, I have her, or at least why I'm gonna have to have her. When she turns two, she will, since I have autism and bipolar and ADHD and all that, sometimes my life gets a little bit difficult, as my brother knows, and all of my other family, but, um, yeah, it just, it gets very, very depressing sometimes for me because of my bipolar, and it also... Hey, why were you under my bed, Sadie? Sorry about that. That was my brother. I'm in his room for some reason. It's better angles and all that. But back to the scene and all that. She just, my dog Lucy has been helping me ever since we got her. And she basically just helps calm me down by, as a usual dog would, licking me and all that stuff. And just letting me pet her and snuggle with her. And because of my bipolar sometimes my moods can go from like right here which is at a good and I can just with no warning shoot all the way up to here and that's when I just blast off and usually that's when I use Lucy to help calm me down because then that's when my autism side comes out and it is never good if I have no dog to pet and so that's where Lucy's going to come in when she's fully trained and has finished up with the work that she's hopefully going to be able to do when she turns two. She'll be able to be an autism service dog and probably a psychiatric service dog because I have issues with what I've been discovering is anxiety issues also. I don't do well in large crowds. I end up shutting down when it's too many people or too loud or anything like that and I don't necessarily refer it to autism because it doesn't feel to me like autism it just feels like that and so for me depression. I just that is not depression Gavin okay. that's more like psychiatric stuff it's just like PTSD in a way I have really alright so back to the thing that's just basically what I'm going to have for my dog Lucy, who I'm petting right now, and no, I'm not hitting her. I'm just patting her belly. Love patting. Yeah, love patting. But, uh, yeah. And so, if you guys want to know what a service dog is, you can easily look it up on Google, autism service dog, or just plain old service dog, or... If, like, you guys want me to go over what a service dog is, I could in this video, but at the same time, my phone that I'm recording this on only goes so far and then shuts down or stops the video. But because you have too much stuff on your camera. No. How do you get out of my closet? We have, like, three dogs in here right now. But, yeah. Hey, Lucy, you want to show yourself? Up. Up. Let's show you. Look, that is Lucy. Say hi, Lucy. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, that is her. And guys, if anybody watches this or is watching this and you dislike the video or you dislike anything I'm saying, just click out of it and don't comment. Because otherwise, I'm just probably going to delete those comments. I ain't going to take it. But yeah, say hey Lucy, and then Sadie. She's under her bed. Yeah, we've got one dog under my brother's bed. Maggie. Maggie's in the. Come here, Mags. They're all playing hide. They're all playing hide. Come here. We have oh, one doggy right here. This is Maggie. That's Lucy, and these guys have all at one point helped me calm down from issues. <laughs> 